Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 15th lecture of the series of lectures related to the RM software for filter design. We will speak here about GMC, uh, Operational Transconductor Amplifier, uh, amplifier uh, dash, dash C filters uh, based on LC prototypes. Here is the content of the presentation. First, we will have some introductory information. Then we will speak about gyrator and, and the simulated inductor, uh, which uh, will be used uh, to substitute the inductor in the LC filters. Then we will uh, give a set of the cells substituting the LC cells, uh, so allowing the synthesis of GMC filters. And finally, we will give an example. One of the problems encountered in high-frequency analog integrated filter synthesis is the area needed to produce an inductor. It is usually realized in a form of a flat spiral line, the inductance of which is limited not only by the area, but by its huge parasitic capacitance too. To avoid such a component, attempts were made to find an active circuit that simulates the inductance good enough to be implemented in high-frequency CMOS integrated circuits. The fundamental idea of implementation of simulated inductance is based on the availability of LC cascaded circuits which are synthesized or were synthesized by some other filter synthesis software system or even extracted from an existing catalog. If so, the inductors are substituted by an equivalent circuit containing operational conductance amplifiers and capacitors only, and the rest of the filter elements, capacitors, remain the same. It is a very attractive method, and even designers with extremely limited knowledge of filter design can produce, produce useful mm -hmm. solutions. Before proceed to the schematics to the circuits, we should mention that the usually RC uh, active filters, due to the the uh, not satisfactory uh, frequency characteristic of the operational amplifier have limited implementation at high frequency. Simply, uh, that it, uh, it's the gain of these uh, operational amplifiers is limited uh, at high frequency so that we need something else to be used instead of them. So, not only the the, the spiral inductors, but the operational amplifiers also are to be eliminated. These are done by the operational transconductance amplifier, which has much, much, much better frequency response. Here it is the symbol of this component. Uh, uh, the, the GM is the main parameter. In, uh, in the ideal case, the input impedance is uh, infinite, the output impedance infinite, and the transconductance is the only parameter, which means that at the output of this, of this uh, 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 circuit element or uh, operational transconductance amplifier is a current source only. Uh, the schematic on the left-hand side is the writer, which means uh, it is a, a circuit uh, introduced by Guillemin, uh, which is described by the set of equations as uh, shown above. If the right-hand side, V2, is loaded by a capacitor, 
In this case, the input impedance at V1 will behave as an inductor uh, whose inductance is uh, C over, over GM squared, which means a smaller, the smaller the, the transconductance, the larger the inductance. Based on this uh, fundamental idea, what may produce a complete solution of GMC filters? Uh, here is the first analogy which is used. Uh, this is like above, but now more elaborated. The inductor is substituted, uh, the grounded inductor is substituted by this circuit on the right hand side. The floating inductor is substituted by this circuit. Here, uh, four transconductance amplifiers are needed. The transformer is realized with the same circuit but without the capacitor is the the pi cell which is realizing a, a zero at the omega axis in the uh, lc synthesis here is the inductor is substituted so we have again a pi cell here is the brunet cell which is uh, realizing the zero at the omega axis, but with a transformer here in the inductor and the transformer as such. Here is a cell realizing the complex zero, complex pair of zeros, uh, using a transformer. And here in the in the bottom horizontal line, we have from the left to the right capacitor, inductor, transformer. On the top we have the inductor L1. And finally, here is the, the cell which is realizing the pair of complex transmission zeros uh, uh, without a transformer. So that would be all. Based on these analogies, analogies we may uh, uh, create a filter uh, uh, while First, of course, we need an LC, pro LC prototype. In this example here, we will use an 11th order modified elliptic filter with four transmission zeros in the stop band. Uh, it will be low pass. The maximum pass band attenuation will be 0.1 decibel, and the minimum pass band, uh, minimum stop band attenuation will be 60 dB. The cutoff frequency will be set at 55 kilohertz. Uh, uh, now uh, the process goes like this. First, the, the transfer function is obtained by the Zolotarev program, uh, uh, and then in, and it will be shown here uh, with a the reason. Then the gain. Uh, characteristic in decibel will be given obtained by spy simulation of GMC filter uh, produced by GMLC uh, filter. So we will have before LC synthesis and after GMC synthesis result. These are the poles. As you can see, these are normalized as usual. And here is the the attenuation characteristic uh, obtained by the transfer function. Uh, on the right hand side, we may see that at the edge there is a small distortion. That distortion is coming from the coarse time uh, frequency step in the creation of this diagram, and there is no error of the transfer function. Here, however, is the frequency response of, of obtained by SPICE of circuit simulation, which uh, is a circuit with operational transconductance amplifier, GMC circuit, obtained by the LC circuit. And as you can see, at the end of the passband, there is a serious distortion, but uh, 
which rises to 1.4 dB in the passband. So we will discuss a little bit this issue. Discrepancies may be noticed at the upper end of the passband. The small distortions noticeable in the transfer functional analysis results are to be attributed to the coarse increment of the frequency. On the other side, the distortion present in the SPI simulation results are related to the accumulated numerical error in the Cascade LP program, not in the GMLC program, which, which is doing the transformation on the cell level. One is not to forget the extremely large order of the elliptic filter manipulated here and its superior selectivity. So the sensitivity uh, uh, of this function is large and uh, during the extraction, the error uh, since the order of the filter is very, very large, it is manipulating with high order polynomials. Uh, uh, and there are so many uh, subtractions and, and, and cancellation in the process of synthesis so that uh, one gets an error which at the end uh, uh, shows up at the end of the passport at the error. And there is no, there is no uh, cure for this, except if if uh, 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 cascading of two lower order filters, cascading of lower order filters, uh, so to, to avoid this numerical burden. So that would be all about the GMC filter synthesis. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.